So I think that cheese is one of my little trigger things, trigger, triggery things. 40 years, everything I'd been told about nutrition was upside down and wrong. This is my carnivore journey. The thing that I'm kind of believing right now is that me and cheese have this love-hate relationship. Cheese is delicious to me, mm, but I don't think it agrees with me. I had some uh, about four nights ago, and I had acid reflux in the middle of the night, and then I had some a slice yesterday afternoon, and I think it just, once it gets in me, then I get this craving for a carb. And because I was hungry all day after I ate that piece of cheese, and I was just like, not really hungry, hungry, but just like the taste wise, I wanted to taste the cheese again. So I think that cheese is one of my little trigger things, trigger, triggery things. So I cut it out last night. The other thing is put in the comments, how do you guys, ha did you have to change from having a snack at night? Like, I always had like a little snack right, right before I went to bed and then I could fall asleep right away. And so I noticed that um, I was trying to do that with cheese. Have like a little piece of cheese right before I went to bed and uh, go to sleep. And so last night I didn't have any. I just thought, well, no, I'm just going to go to bed straight away. But it's like this little habit that I have of every night having a, a little bite or a little snack right before I went to bed. And... You know, that was going on before I got into carnivore, and then when I got into carnivore, then that kind of really slowed down because I didn't really have anything prepared, and if I did, then it was just like a bite of a hamburger patty that I'd cooked or a bite of beef or a bite of something right before I went to bed, which is, you know, if you think about it, the, the people that were eating the species, species correct uh, food would probably go out and be hunters all day long or, or do their, the things that they needed to do all day and then would come home and when it got dark and stuff they would probably eat and then go to sleep. Which I, you know, I don't know that it's a, you know, super bad thing or anything like that. But, you know, I just kind of wanted to get away from having anything right before I went to bed. Just so like, it, you know, if I ate around seven or eight-ish or whatever, that it w I would have a full 12 hours of like, fast time before I got up and and uh, wanted to eat again maybe even 16 because what is it nine o'clock here uh, yeah so it's been over 12 hours and I'm down to only two meals a day so I usually eat one earlier in the day and then one uh, somewhere during work I always I, I make one usually a smaller one take to work and then have it there and just eat, you know if I get hungry Maybe it's just like a uh, uh, safety blanket. You know, it's just, oh, what if I get hungry at work? One of those mental little gymnastic things that people do. <laughs> so, that's that's what it is. Cheese. And so, I'm going to cut dairy out completely. At least for, you know, a month. And let's see what happens. Because when I backed way off on the dairy then it seemed like the weight started to go down a little bit more so maybe I'm just right on that little teeter line that little flutter line where if I have even just a little bit then I'll, I'll retain uh, some water or you know something like that my body might do something weird but uh, overall my moods improved I've been getting compliments at work about uh, you know asking how much I've lost and that I was looking good and and all sorts of stuff which is really nice and one of the one of the girls said we need to put you on a dating website and i'm like no <laughs> i'm good <laughs> yeah no <laughs> i'm just doing todd stuff todd stuff right now todd stuff is taking care of his finances taking care of his uh body and his health and taking care of his mental uh state so todd's doing todd <laughs> todd's happy with todd so, anyway, there was different terms, but <laughs> it, it all worked out. Uh, I think that's it for right now. Uh, I haven't noticed anything else. The, the exercise I picked up that really felt good was really light weights and a lot of reps. So, I was doing triceps, uh, what's today, Tuesday? I was doing triceps Sunday. 
and so I got like a five pound weight I did skull crushers and I did um, 30 and I did uh, three sets of 30 skull crushers just just rapid and my triceps are just on fire they were sore yesterday and this morning when I woke up they were just like sore I can feel them move under my arm now it's not just like a tendon <laughs> there's some muscle there now so I'm like working on it <laughs> Ricky anyway that's what's been going on in the carnivore diet and leave in the comments uh, any of your food recipes for Rick and whether or not you go to the gym if you go to the gym do you lift weights or do you just get on a treadmill don't know because uh, we're all learning this just a guy on a journey We'll talk to y'all later. Bye.